Well, there are a lot of great things happening here in St. Louis, uh, the chess campus, as we call it. So many different activities, the U.S. Championship, to be sure, top-level games. Uh, but a lot of youngster, uh, young activities, that is, for the youth here in St. Louis. And Brian Casita, who is a professor at the University of Missouri, is part of the team doing some research on all the great scholastic efforts that are being done here. Brian, welcome to the show. Tell us what you do right now in Missouri. Well, I'm a professor at the University of Missouri. I study education policy. So I'm in the Department of Economics in the School of Public Affairs there. And specifically, we look at education policies. My specific research agenda, I'm really interested in things that engage students and uh, make students um, give them opportunities that they don't necessarily have. Uh, this has ranged from studying the effects of arts education, uh, education in the humanities, after school programs, field trip programs. So working with the chess club is a natural fit because this is a you know, the, the scholastic program here in St. Louis is a, is a perfect example of the type of program that can bring students something that they can't access in any other way. Now, you mentioned that you've done all these different sorts of activities. Why is chess such a natural match for the kind of things that you're doing? Well, I think one of the most fascinating things about chess is that it really seems to hit um, two specific areas that we care a lot about. One is the academic component. I mean, chess naturally translates to things like spatial reasoning and math skills. There's been some studies that have come out of Europe that show that students who play chess are better at math, their math scores go up, uh, particularly st a study in Italy, study in Denmark, um, and that's obviously something that we care about. Um, but that's not the only thing we care about. We also want students to be engaged at school. We want them to be intrinsically motivated to learn and to take on challenges and to build their confidence. Chess has that component as well. Um, if you can get students to have fun while they're learning, you've, uh, you've really figured out a way to you know, crack that nut and move the needle. Now, a lot of people want to see numbers. They want to see that there are concrete results, not just anecdotal evidence to prove that chess is great for kids, even though we all know chess is fantastic for kids. Of course. But what has uh, the numbers said? You're the research guy. What have you seen to be just really credible numbers that suggest that it's chess that we should be incorporating into our nation's schools? Well, there have not been, you know, any big large-scale research studies in the United States to date. There's the European studies where, you know, there are, you know, countries in Europe that chess, where chess is part of the curriculum. Those studies have mainly focused on academic and achievement effects. And they've found, like I said, typically um, increases in math achievement. Um, the research that we've done so far to date in uh, St. Louis and in, you know, some of the schools in Ferguson is uh, we're looking at uh, the more of the student engagement questions and um, we've piloted surveys with the students that are in the clubs um, with some pretty you know overwhelming you know feedback that we're getting from these students uh, in terms of the way that they view the trust program so for example we've, we've uh, had the, the feedback surveys have shown that uh, more than 90 percent of these students agree that chess uh, makes them more confident that they can accomplish difficult, difficult tasks, makes them want to uh, challenge themselves more in the future. And I think probably the one that you know, uh, gives us some of the most confidence is 85% of the students in these uh, programs say that they look forward to coming to school more on days when they have chess. And that's huge because getting, getting kids to school is, is you know, sometimes one of the hardest things. That's right, and ch chess day for my students is usually a key day. They want to get out of bed. It's like, okay, we're going to be playing chess with Mr. Ashley today. <laughs> yeah. So they're usually pretty happy about that. Now, we're working on a project together uh, along with other members of the team, Dr. Matthew Pepper, uh, uh, Tony and Kareem, both yes. Tonys, a bunch of Tony Chen and, and Richard Pointer. And we are having a great time we putting are. together this curriculum. Yeah. Uh, tell, tell the folks some uh, details about what we're doing in this effort. Right. So, you know, when you get involved with research, there's really, you know, two important points here. One is certainly we want to know what the impact is. We want to know what the outcome is. But implementation is huge. You know, there was a, a big study in England recently that did not find positive effects from chess. Um, but that study came out and reported that implementation may have been the problem in that uh, maybe the teachers weren't prepped uh, properly, uh, they didn't have enough resources and materials. So we're focused a lot right now with you on designing, uh, making sure that implementation is right in four key areas. So we're devising a set of standards that are going to be competency-based that uh, sequentially sort of walk students through, you know, the beginning day of, you know, how to set up a chessboard all the way to eventually being a grandmaster like yourself. Mm -hmm. um, 
we're working on curricular materials that will be attached to those standards so the instructors here at the chess club have the tools that they need to engage those students. Um, we're looking as at a lot of digital options, things that students can use on tablets and their phones. Um, we're going to build in a framework for assessments so uh, the instructors can monitor the students' progress, know uh, where the gaps are, know where they need to target their efforts. And then a final component is um, working really on the certification of the chess instructors to make sure that before they go out into the classroom, they have everything that they need and they're ready to go. That is so thorough. You said it so perfectly. <laughs> and it's going to be an amazing effort. I can't wait yes. for us to finish this job and, and release it to the world. Uh, everybody see what we're doing here in St. Louis. Brian, thanks so much for being a colleague. Look forward to doing some more work with you. Thank you, Maurice. Brian Casita at the University of Missouri, uh, helping to transform chess, not just here in St. Louis, but around the country.